the threat to our coastline and to our reef system isn't just to uh, the issues of drilling, but also to the issues of lionfish. And I don't know how much that most people that are out in our waters know what they are doing, that those fish are not native to the area. They believe they were uh, freed up during Hurricane Andrew. Those fish spawn about 30,000 eggs every four days. They have no known predators. They are poisonous. Despite that, very good eating. It uh, tastes very much like um, grouper, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a very delicate white fish, and it's it's lovely to eat. It's lovely uh, as a ceviche, and uh, and it's 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 uh, abundant out there. And we need to keep its numbers in check, and that's one of the ways in which we could do it. In the Bahamas, they have cleaned off in, uh, entire coral reef systems in two years. They are vast consumers of juvenile fish, and so you can find as many as 17 to 50 different species have been found in the bellies of these of these fish and so including the tiny little parrot fish that keep the algae populations down that also keep our reef system healthy. They are the, a living predator that's in the ocean that is really um, very dangerous for our coastline as well because if our coral reefs don't survive then neither does our shoreline. The more that voices raise concern the more that attention is paid in particular in these days of social media. There are a lot of documentaries about the lionfish and I would encourage folks to really understand what they look like, what they can do about about it, particularly if they're in the marine industry at all, we have an obligation to be aware of these issues. And then last, I would really encourage the restaurant um, associations to become involved because they are very good eating. And one of the things that we know about Americans is if there's a way to make money, we'll go out and take advantage of it. And certainly that is a, a, a fish that would be um, a great to grow a business and it would also help our oceans at the same time.